Hello, my name is Kylie Lane. I'm Liam Insack. And I'm Jennifer Fajara. And we are presenting our digital video production project on behalf of the New Milford High School FBLA. Today we will be presenting our process of creating a how to perform CPR video. To begin, we filmed our video using a Panasonic HDC TM90 video recorder. To edit our video, we use an HP laptop. All materials used in the video, including the CPR dummy, the CPR barrier mask, as well as the CPR mat were provided by our school. Softwares used to edit this video included Wondershare Filmora, Adobe Media Encoder, Adobe Character Animator, Adobe Illustrator, and iMovie. Information recorded and used in this video all came from the Red Cross website. To begin, we edited our visuals to create a transparent background-like feature that really emphasized our text. We added white text on top to make it pop out. We added our title here, which is how to perform CPR, as well as our topic in the name of our school. We then go to the animation slide, which we use Adobe Character Animator. We created a doctor that explains how to do CPR because that is very important. We made sure that we use special techniques to match the mouth of the character up to our vo vocals, as well as the motion of the character up to our motion. We then transition to our role play scenario. We used a panning effect to follow our character into the main scenario here. Transitioning from our role play event to the demonstration, we used a sliding technique so that one scene slid out to the left and the other entered from the right. Throughout the demonstration sections, we used a voiceover technique to demonstrate what we were doing. We used different angles to optimize the viewing experiences. For example, when we wanted to show the correct hand positions, we used an overhead aerial shot. L cuts were used throughout the presentation to present clear and well presented informative scenes. We used zoom techniques to emphasize fine details in the videos. We also used tilt effects to demonstrate different perspectives when we wanted to show the upper body and the lower body in the same clips. As we approach the end of the video, you will notice a fluctuation in the audio volume and a, and a drastic increase in the audio to prepare the audience with this new text saying thank you for watching and most importantly stay safe. This introduction of the text and increase in volume increases viewing pleasure as well and it prepares the audience for the introduction of the EMT. So I just want to take a quick glimpse at the other half of the video. We see the title tab here which is much more opaque than the other tabs that were both purple and blue to represent the audio slash voiceover and the music. We have the title because as we approach the end of the video, we said, thank you for watching, and this is what the clip looked like. You can click on the clip itself and see the animation, do change things around, change the color, change the font, which is what we did. We not only changed the font, we also changed the animation. And there was this one clip that I said towards the bottom that says the steps to perform CPR in the bottom left corner. It had a transition that was fading in and fading out, as you can see, because it's much choppier if it's just on the screen and then it gets out, and that's the end of our video, and basically why it looks the way it did.